Welcome to another episode of FMK, brought to you by the BNS Awesome Podcast. I'm your host as always, Scott. How's it going today? Today we're looking at Mutant Zero Year. I must say, I really enjoy this game. If you're into XCOM or games like that, this could be your jam. It has some goods, it has some bads, uh, but we'll get into that. Bob obviously did not do an FMK yet. If you uh, get a hold of us on Twitter, ridicule Bob about not getting an FMK yet because he uh, keeps on saying he's going to do one, but he hasn't. Back to Mutant Zero Year. Man, that's kind of hard to say. Mutant Zero Year. I enjoy this game. So the story breaks down into the world kind of fell into like disarray and then there's something happened to the humans and they're trying to figure out what happened. You are then thrown into the world of being a mutant. You start off with a duck named Ducks. A uh, boar-like guy, pig guy, named Boris, I think? Borix? I can't can't quite remember. I'm doing this kind of a little later, but still a good game. And if you didn't know about FMK, it's where we fuck, marry, or kill a game. Yeah, we do that here at the BNS Awesome Podcast every once in a while. And uh, it's just our opinion. Hey, if you don't like it, take it as it is. So first I'm going to start off and say it's a lot like XCOM. It does what it's supposed to do. Turn-based shooter, but it's turn-based kind of. And yet it still has real-time elements. So you, like, you're like you walking around and you're doing all that stuff in your own time. Which is great, and I enjoy that. Then it, there's also like the real-time strategy of it is when you get into combat. And combat can be really fun, but it can also be super difficult. Like I played it at the easiest setting, which is just normal. Yeah, I struggled a little bit. If you're watching the video version of this, you'll probably see me die a couple times. Yeah, all in all, it's... It's still fun. Like, I like a challenging game like that, that makes you think, that makes you strategize. And yeah, you can kind of cheese this. Like, there's ways that you can do that by getting a certain person to, like, you, like, lure them away. Well, you don't lure them. They just, like, they'll, like, go on patterns and routines. You find them when they're alone by themselves, and then you uh, take them out with a silenced weapon. I really like that aspect of it, that you can wait for somebody... And then attack them and it doesn't alert the other people because you can silence your weapons, etc. But along with that, I don't know. I I like getting into a brawl too. So when it comes to like going into a brawl, I go in guns a blazing, throwing bombs, and taking names. Another cool thing you can do in this game is that it has mutations. So the mutations will give so um, like there's ducks. He can grow wings. Which I thought was really cool, but the skill tree is very limited, I found. There's, I think there's six, maybe eight different skills for your guy, and, like, you get another combatant with you, and Borix, Borix, Borix. Anyways, um, you get another combatant with you guys, and then, like, I find that they repeat the same mutations, which they could have not done, and it would have been really cool. I, I'm a big fan of, like, the X-Men and stuff. So, like, when I think of mutations, like, I want these guys to, like, kind of go a little further. Maybe for, if they make another one, they will uh, put in a bunch more mutations where your guy can, like, actually have, like, a branched tree. And this does have a branched tree, but like I said, it's only, like, a few. Which, eh, it is what it is. I don't know. I probably put about five hours into it. I believe to do the entire playthrough is a about 15 i'm i'll probably go back and finish it up because i have been having fun with this the sound of the game is great like you'll be just kind of wandering around the forest there's oh there's another cool mechanic that they have they have a flashlight and you have your flashlight on when you're walking around in the wilderness and the jungle whatever you want to call it the post-apocalyptic world you'll find scrap and stuff and your flashlight really lights it up but on the downside of the flashlight if there's enemies nearby, they'll see your flashlight beam way easier than when you have your flashlight off. So it's kind of like a, a catch-22. You, you can have your flashlight on and be seen easier. Or you can have your flashlight off and see less like materials to collect. Or what I've been doing is I'll go into an area, kill all the bad guys, then turn on my flashlight, wander around and try and find whatever scrap and special items I can find. Anyways, back to the music. The music's great. It has a really nice pickup when you're getting closer to enemies and stuff. 
you get closer, you find them, and you're like, oh shit, and the fucking music starts building, and you're getting like, oh no, you start a battle, the music picks up even more, you start losing that battle, the music gets even worse, like, yeah, I've lost a bunch of battles, and I'm playing on normal, maybe I'm just, I just really suck at the game, <laughs> which it could be, by all means, that does happen, I'm not the greatest video game player ever, but I do enjoy it. It's got good combat. It's very focus based. Like you need to focus on the tougher enemies because they will kill you. Or you, well, I don't know. I focus on the tougher enemies because I that's my play style, I guess. Like I said, they do things really good in this game. Like I, if you're a fan of XCOM or XCOM Two, or I think they had one called the Bureau, maybe I can't quite remember. There was another offshoot of XCOM, but it's very similar except for it's open world. Well, not. A generated well it's not even a generated map it's a map but you're free to explore it you're not like thrown right into combat like an XCOM. you're actually out exploring trying to figure out what's going on and there's some really cool stuff and if you're watching the video at the start of the video there's a um i pick up a note and like it just gives you like little backstory bits on like what's happening and stuff like that i thought that was a really nice touch that uh the creators of this game did they they seem to have had a lot of heart making this game and uh i'm super happy that they put it on xbox live and another thing like you do hear me talk or sorry not xbox live xbox game pass you'll hear me talk about xbox game pass a lot on fmk because it's a great way to play a variety of games that you probably wouldn't play right like it's just and it's cheap. Uh, I, I think I paid a dollar for a year's worth of Xbox Live and Xbox Gold because they had that promotion with um, when they first announced that new pass. I'm going to try and do some more computer FMKs, computer games, PS4 games. But uh, right now, like I said, it's just cheaper to do it this way. So anyways, back to the game. The bads about this? Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess the, the tree, the mutant tree was not great. I would have loved to have seen, like I said, like a more branching mutant tree for all, like, the different characters. Like, they could have, like, really had some good, like, some neat and interesting stuff. So, it's kind of 50-50 on that. Um, I understand that it was low budget. They didn't have a gigantic budget to make this game. But you could have added some more mutant powers and stuff. Maybe it was a little rush at the end. I'm not quite too sure. The other thing that I wasn't too much of a fan of like the scrapping system so you're, you're getting scrap to build up better guns and etc you're finding more guns and stuff out in the world than you are buying which is good and bad because i find that like the gunsmith or whatever you want to call it isn't quite utilized as much as it should be in the game which is kind of 50 50 it take it or leave it do whatever you want with it but yeah, they they could have built on a few things like that. Like I just find that you're going back to places just to upgrade a weapon. It, they could have thrown in a crafting system, which would have been really cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff they could have done. I guess that's what they did. So you can pick this game up on Steam for $34.99. Like I said, it's free on Games Pass, and the Epic Game Store is actually is going to be giving it. Uh, away for free it's also out on it's also out on nintendo switch like i believe it's out on everything if i'm not mistaken i understand that like some people are like oh no not on the epic store it really doesn't matter guys that's just my thoughts you guys think what you want but it, i don't think it really matters <laughs> so that that's that's the thing if you like real-time strategy like games i guess you call it XCOM. I, I don't know whatever it is if you like xcom style games Dude, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. I think it's great. I think it's a fun game. I think it's got great music. I think that uh, the gameplay is great. Like, and just like in XCOM, and I'm going to refer to it like as much as I can to XCOM because that's the closest comparison without being XCOM. There, I don't see many games like this. Maybe I just because I don't actively look for them, but it's still cool. They have the Overwatch system for like when you're on the high ground. Different enemy types have different like weaknesses almost. The they have a pyro he's called, and he, yeah, you guessed it. He throws fire. And you'll see it in the video. I get bombed by him, 
and you kind of want to like prioritize which which guy's gonna mess with you the most i think i like that i like the idea of the yeah you got to focus on this guy because he has this i'm sure you guys already know what my review is i'm gonna tell you guys to go out and buy this game and, and or download it on games pass or get it free because it's good and you know what it's got nine out of nine or nine out of ten on steam metacritic gave it a nine out of ten like this game is really well done and i don't believe that it received the praise it should have because not a lot of people are talking about it really and it's this would be a great game on the switch like if you're traveling somewhere like if you take long drives whatever like if you're in a vehicle or like a plane or something and you gotta kill a couple hours, three hours, four hours, fuck this game would be a great game to just sit and chill. And it's free right now through the Epic Game Store on PC. Throw that thing bad boy on a laptop, pick it up on your Switch. I bet you it's probably around 40 bucks on the Switch. Why not support a game that you can tell they like put a lot of love and attention into? And I find that they were not doing that enough. Like, all these like really high-end games are turning out shit and they're not producing as well as some of these games like lower end games like another day that i've heard i haven't played it even uh days gone got terrible reviews but i've been told it's a great game because everybody kind of shit on it and then now there's like a fan base and people are like man this is like really good everybody needs to check this out um what other things can i tell you about this game uh you also oh they got some quippy the ducks guy he's got some quippy stuff that he says well they all do they kind of do have like lots of good back and forth banter between each other yeah like i don't want to spoil too much about the game but like he'll you'll they'll find stuff and like they'll well i guess i'll kind of i'll spoil one they'll find a if he finds a boom box like fairly early on in the game i believe it's like just at the start you'll you'll find a boom box and you'll be like don't press that button because it'll explode get it because it's a boom box and i thought that was funny i don't know maybe that's just me maybe you don't like that shit i like it that's why i want to give this game a, a hard marry especially if it's free especially if you already have game pass especially if you've got a nintendo switch it i think I believe it just came out on switch just recently yeah you could you could play this game for days and have a lot of fun doing it here's another negative about it i don't see much of a replay value to this game. i believe after once you beat it i don't think you'd want to like go back and play it a lot more because like i said with the mutant tree you can't really experiment and like have like a whole new type of gameplay through it like i said if they added that on like say mutant year one whatever they want to call the next one that would be great because it makes their game way more replayable and that's what you want out of a game you want some replayability you want to be able to like go and sit down again and again like those classic games but like i said for the price of it it's great i can and if we you support it there's a guaranteed time like you're almost guaranteed to get a second mutant year zero like whatever they want to call it like i said support your support the creators of the game you love right you don't want to be like oh well i really enjoyed this game but uh i'll wait for it to be free if you have the chance to buy it and you're like oh well even if you're tight on cash like you know rather than picking up that big 69 whatever it is 69.99 79.99 depending on where you are title maybe look at some of the lesser games maybe pick up two of the lesser known games and try them out every once in a while I, I like that's what i try and do or like i said you pay for the game pass and hey yeah it's whatever it is a, a month i think it's ten dollars a month but if you already have xbox live i believe if you pay another four or five bucks you get games pass for for, for well with it i think it's xbox ultimate game pass so that's a fucking steal of a deal right there. You're cutting your $10 Games Pass to $5, and you're still playing all these crazy new games. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about Game Pass. I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys are going to be like, Scott, shut the fuck up about Game Pass. I don't play a fucking Xbox. And I'm going to look at you, and I'm going to tell you, well, guess what? Games Pass is also on PC now. That's right. Xbox should be sponsoring this, but they're not because they suck. And I still play that. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, anyways, for uh, the BNS Awesome Podcast FMK, Fuck, Mary Kill, I'm going to give this Mutant Zero 
year a merry. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Be sure to uh, go over to iTunes. I understand that you, some of you guys don't use iTunes, but maybe head over there, leave us a comment, a review. It does help us in the long run. If you want us to keep putting out con- like really good content and stuff, because like that'll mean we're moving up in the charts and we're getting more and more listeners. So if you could, I'd appreciate it. If not, no worries. So uh, yeah, Mutant Zoo Year, I'm going to give it a merry. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit that.